Okay, before I start, I want to remind everyone to please not disseminate these revelations on your own. And for one reason is because they're complicated and need sequencing. Because I'm teaching to build a sequence into a much bigger picture of understanding. This one in particular has so much information that I'm breaking it down into two videos. Otherwise, it's likely to be overwhelming. <clears throat> and remembering from my last video, Satan was given great power and authority over the earth, as stated in Matthew chapter 4. And he watched as God created the earth, and watched as God reached into the waters of the ocean and pinched out the clay to make man. In understanding this, we would obviously be made with clay and salt because we were molded of clay from the ocean. <clears throat> this is proven in Matthew chapter 5, 13. I want to read this because of its importance. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be trampled underfoot. And this can be physically acknowledged by the fact our sweat tastes salty, and when we sweat too much, our bodies cramp, and we have to eat salt to make these cramps stop. Satan knows this about us, because he was there to watch us be created. That we are made of clay and salt in every aspect of this. I want to point out Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, that God gave us the fruits and seed-bearing plants for our foods and for our medicines because, like us, it is made from the earth and good. Nowadays, we don't use this. We use medicine, or so-called medicine, which, if you read Scripture enough, you can see that this is sorcery are referred to as sorcery. And here's where Satan makes his mark. One of the symbols, and again, he's prideful, he's got to show his work, would be what's called the Rod of Asclepius, also known as the God of Medicine. And this is your symbol of medicine. It's a widely known symbol used to represent medicine, which is the staff with the serpent around it. Very well known. <clears throat> As I said previous, in previous video, he's prideful, and he has to put his mark on his work, the mark of the beast. And again, where do we get our medicine from? Usually, we're going to get them from where? The pharmacy. Well, widely known symbol for the pharmacy is called the Bowl of Hygieia. This is the symbol for pharmacy. It's the grail or cup with the serpent around it looking into it or drinking out of it, however you prefer to interpret it. <clears throat> Again, his pride and mark. And what do they add to our medicines and vitamins so our bodies accept it? Salts and clays in the pills and shots. Fact check this. This is because our bodies will naturally reject it. It's not God's medicine. It's Satan getting inside and corrupting us with his sorcery. I'm going to show you just one single medicine in this instant. What what? help to create the family of coronaviruses, including the novel corona that we're dealing with right now. now. I want to show you what's in a flu vaccine that everybody gets. We get these as children, and now we have to have them to go to work. You have formaldehyde, aluminum salt, thimerosal, egg proteins, gelatin, and antibiotics. Now, some of the more important ones in this 
is the aluminum salt. Notice they make it into a salt form so our body accepts it. Accepts it. This aluminum goes directly into to our brains and it's a proven fact that the aluminum, if you get too much aluminum in your brain, you get Alzheimer's, it causes memory loss, uh, lack of brain functioning altogether. You basically forget. And there's a point for that. Then you have the thimerosal, which is an organomercury. Now, of course, we all know mercury is poisonous, but they still give it to us. Now, these are two which is really odd that they don't put them in a lot of infant shots. So if they can leave them out of infant shots, why do we have to get them as adults? Why does it have to be in there when we're adults? It's very important. Adults can choose. And then the biggest part is the egg proteins. Now, now this is where the coronavirus and all the uh, avian bird flu and such... Things of that nature come into play at. <laughs> In science, it's a known fact that our viruses are shot into eggs. And they're shot in there to grow and mutate them to become vaccines. And then we're given these vaccines. The only problem with this is that in doing so, we pick up genetic information from birds through this process. We actually get some of their genetic material, which in turn connects to our DNA and our uh, natural antibiotics given to us by God. And of course, this is what corrupts mankind and our DNA, which is exactly what Satan wants to do or is doing and has been doing for some time. This is his mark to corrupt mankind and desecrate God's temple. Is to make us susceptible. Now that we have genetic material from birds that are grown through eggs, mutated in eggs, we're now susceptible to viruses we would not normally get. Viruses that comes from... Uh, comes from birds that only birds used to get. Now you see in the avian bird flu, SARS, uh, MERS, and now the novel coronavirus, all related to birds. So this is your science. This is your vaccines and your medicines and your your uh, what everybody. Uh, Scientologists and all these science freaks like to say, oh, science is great. It's wonderful. It's given us all these wonders and miracles <clears throat> when it's actually what's poisonous, poisoning our bodies and corrupting our bodies. <laughs> Let's see. Try to figure out where I left out in my notes here for you. Understanding that you might ask for further proof. I refer you to Revelations chapter 13 verse 16 and 17. And point out your children can't even go to school without their vaccinations and many people can't work many jobs unless your vaccinations are current, especially in the medical field. It is legally required so you can't sell your skill set to make money, thus not being able to buy either. Again, Revelation 13, verse 16 and 17. Since I've covered this mark very briefly, I'm going to give you a bonus to further show where we are. Some might ask, well, the temple has to be rebuilt so the Antichrist can enter it. Well, everybody assumes this temple is in Israel, but take a closer look at the scripture 
to what it says and what Jesus exactly says the temple actually is. In John chapter 2, verse 19, when they're discussing his crucifixion, that, that he's going to be crucified, he points out, says, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. Now he's clearly referring, everybody knows that he's referring to his body, destroying his body, his temple, and he rebuilt it in three days. He rose in three days. If you need further scripture to prove this, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God, and that you are not your own? Now, I, I'm not sure how much clearer that needs to be. So, I want to go ahead and stop here at this point because I, I don't want to overwhelm anyone. I want to give everyone a chance to, to fact check and, and really digest this more than anything. I'm going to do a second part to this soon. Uh, but pay attention, people, you know. Read your scripture. Now, now here's the part about, you know, let's go back to this temple. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, where it talks about Satan entering, or, or it says Satan, uh, or some people assume it's Satan, but it doesn't actually say Satan. It says, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God, sitteth in the temple of God, shrewing himself that he is God. Now, it doesn't name Satan. It doesn't name any of his many names. It says, Who opposeth and exalted himself? Now, let's think about this. Who is who there is a who that exists it is the world health organization that is currently all in the middle of this uh coronavirus new coronavirus and they're the world health Hort health organization they're the ones that control the vaccinations and oversee everybody's vaccin vaccination and disease control on earth now, I don't know how much more obvious that can be because Satan wasn't named, who was named. And if you look at their symbol, it is the earth with the serpent and the staff over it and a laurel wreath around it. It's obvious. He's got to put his name on everything. So again, you know, you go back to, oh, we couldn't possibly be in these times. I just proved. His mark's everywhere. He's already been in the temple through our vaccinations. So now you see, you actually see, especially with this Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, where who is specifically named, you can see just how accurate the word is in the omnipotence in the word. So take note. This is the very first time you are hearing these revelations. It's going to be at his choosing time, by his choosing witnesses, to give glory to the word because he is the word and the word is with him. So I'll leave y'all now and I want to say God bless everybody.